Tales from the Source. Pirates, truth be told. As England expanded its colonial empire on the high seas, many were the dangers faced by sailors in those wooden ships of old. Unexpected storms, huge waves, jagged coastlines, and treacherous rocks. Even whales and sea monsters that could overcome your entire vessel. And then there were the pirates, legendary sailors who fought and plundered on both land and sea, often portrayed as a bloodthirsty lot of scalawags and ne'er-do-wells. But who were these pirates, really? I may hop you'll never know, for dead men tell no tales. <laughs> that may be true, but if you want to know what really happened, there are hundreds of documents from those days that tell of swashbuckling adventures on the high seas. These are called primary documents, historical records created at the time of an event, or shortly thereafter, based on recollections of people who lived through it. Primary documents, original written records or images. Think of them as eyewitness accounts. Nowadays, what we know about pirates comes mainly from adventure tales written long after they actually roamed the seas. But these secondary documents, such as novels and films, are not necessarily true tales, often because they're not original, historical, primary documents. Primary documents written in the 1700s and the 1800s may be the closest we can ever get to the real stories, letters, diaries, maps, Transcripts of trials, confessions, government proclamations, gallows speeches, ballads, and images of the pirates themselves. Perhaps the greatest influence on how we think of pirates today was a book written in the early 1700s by Daniel Defoe. History of the Pirates gives us the most complete picture we have of that world and its notorious men and women. Yes, the female pirates were just as ferocious as the men. Take pirate Mary Reed, for example. That's right. Ah. She was 51% lady and 49% pirate. So you'd best stay on her good side. Ah. Defoe spent months in a London prison for his political writings, and he got to know the pirates jailed with him. Based on the tales of pirates he'd met, Defoe later wrote the adventure tale Robinson Crusoe, and his work then inspired Robert Louis Stevenson to write Treasure Island, Kidnapped. Aye, treasure, now that's more like it. If you want to learn more about this fascinating period of swashbuckling history, here are some online collections of primary documents that your library may subscribe to. And there are many free online collections, such as the Library of Congress and American Memory. Aye, those were the days. Ah, this is a ah. But now, come back for part two, in which the infamous Captain Kidd gets his chance at redemption. Arrgh!